Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Killer Bunny with part two of my Pokemon Victory Fire. Let's play, and let's just skip this and get right into it because I don't want to waste any time. So, I uh, hope you guys did see the first part, those of you who are playing. And yeah, I didn't save it right here, I saved it right here. There we go. That's better. Alright. Um, so those of you who are watching, um, if you didn't see the first part, I do recommend that you go check out the first part of my Let's Play, um, before watching this, uh, but you don't have to. It's just up to you. It's just a recommendation from, from me, but, uh, let's continue and, uh, kill this Whirlpool. And then we got this guy. Am I cool? Kanto Champion Red, always be like this. So he's, he thinks he's cool and he's trying to be like Red. Oh yeah, by the way, what I didn't mention in the last episode, uh, those of you who don't know, who have never seen this game before, um, Axew is actually a dragon fighting type, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it's kind of different. I didn't learn any fighting type moves when I had leveled them up. I didn't level them up too high. I think I got them at like 30 or something like that. Um, maybe not even that, maybe 26. Um, but I hadn't learned any fire type moves. Um, they have guts for the ability, but um, from what I see, it doesn't go into play. Yeah, I just died because I'm not even paying attention. Um, but from what I can tell, Guts doesn't, like, work basically the way it's supposed to. Um, it doesn't improve your attack at all if you're status. And um, also, Burn doesn't take away your attack power, so. Yeah, there's that. And I just got poisoned. Awesome. Killed it. Um, nine steps. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it back to the Pokemon Center. Mineco, seven steps, six, or seven whatever poison things, five, four, three, two, one, zero, no! <laughs> I almost made it. Alright. Spinnerack. Alright, take it out. Boom. And battle this gentleman. And he's got a Volpix. And the next guy is Max, the police officer. Uh, he's actually pretty difficult at this part because uh, he uses his pair of hacks a lot. <laughs> cool. I got a crit. Electric. And then his last Pokemon is Voltorb, which really doesn't do too much. And I learned Twister. Awesome. You are really great. As a prize, I'll give you this. And he gives us Pokenav. Uh, that's a Pokenav. It's a great thing for a trainer like you. It is very easy to use. Kill the bunny? I have to leave now. Sorry for bothering you. Whoa, he just walked through that, that guy. Did you see that? He just walked through that gentleman. Alright, so now we're in the next town. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And, um, yeah, let's uh, head over to the gym. It's actually blocked. Uh, sorry, but Miss Silk is not here. You better come back later. Yeah, I actually know where she is. She's over here. This is the library. Um, she's not over there. She's actually over here. And... Over here. Cool train there. Yeah, okay. But, um... Yeah, basically you have to go through this cave and shenanigans like that. And come over here, find Miss Silk, and battle her, and I just lost. Yep, there's that. 
Gotta watch out for those slang types, because, yeah, I am part... Uh, what do you call it? Part fighting, so it is going to be super effective. Like that. And, man, I can't kill this Talo. What the hell? I can't kill this Taylor, I don't know why. There, level 11. Maybe that'll help me a little bit. Wow! Okay, I lose 1 HP. <laughs> Let me go heal. That would have been ridiculous. Let's head over here, go to the cave. What's the cave called? Um, Snowy Path. Really? It's not snowy at all over here. Why is it called that? That's weird. Um, anyway, let's go in and battle this guy. It's a hiker. He's got a Zubat, and you know, there's a um, classic Zubat shenanigans in caves, just like in the old games. Um, so, yeah, could, wow, he would get magnitude 10. <laughs> I should have bought some potions. Let me go back and actually buy some. Yeah, let me go buy some potions. How many can I buy? Five? Whoops. Yeah, let's buy five. That works. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Go to this to the grass and wow, I forgot to heal. <laughs> Just walking back and forth. Probably not gonna cut it out because I am walking pretty fast, so not that big of a deal. I don't know why I say that. Like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna edit this or not. Like, because <laughs> you guys are watching this already the edited version, so it's kind of pointless for me. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, this guy's kind of like a bastard to deal with. His Hitmonchan is really bulky and... Okay, wow, he actually didn't do it. Well, normally he goes for revenge and it, like, basically screws with your... your, uh... your axe to you really badly. Um, but yeah, this is Nurse Joy. Um, Nurse Joy heals your Pokemon if you beat her, and she like always has a chance in doing shenanigans like this all the time. So There's that. So now she's going to heal us, and there we go. Now we get going. And the only reason I'm speeding it up so much is because... Um, you guys get to see more if I speed it up. So, I mean, we're already eight and a half minutes in, so. I mean, if I didn't speed it up, we'd still be at, like, before we entered the cave, so. I mean, if you guys don't want me to speed it up, let me know. But, um, yeah, you get to see more in the, uh, different parts. Because if I didn't speed it up, I'd have to cut what the finished video of this is going to be into, like, two parts. So, holy crap! Did you just go for Psybeam? Oh wow! What the hell? His Abra did not know that before, or he didn't use it the last time I battled him, like when I was playing in the uh, live stream. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, his Abra didn't go for Psybeam. Uh, when I did this first time. <coughs> I went for something like, uh... Hidden Power or something stupid like that. Wow. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna pause here till I beat him, so I'll be... Okay, yeah, so we finally beat him. Holy crap, that took way too... <laughs> I had to go back like 
two more times after I caused it. It was that was crazy. Um, but yeah, let's just keep going. Let's battle her, and then we'll go over and battle that hiker. Oh crap! I'm really low on HP. Did not notice that. Um, but yeah, um, let's just keep going through this cave, battle some people, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, it's not a hiker. I thought it was a hiker. It's a collector. Wingo, that's the most non-threatening Pokemon in the game. Alright, take out the Ekans, awesome. Awesomeness, you know, too bad and scratch, take it out, but yeah, that stuff. You know how it goes. And then, yeah, I guess we can battle this guy. Venipede, yeah, take it out, boom, just like that. Ninkata. Nah, get that crap out of here. Alright, now let's go. Let's go into this house. And we see uh, random people. So let's find out who they are. But, Dad, I really want to start my journey. Lily, just give up your silly thought. You have no idea. But, Dad... No, Lily. I won't agree with you. Mr. Allen, please consider. Do you think you can stop her? I don't care. Lily, Miss Silk, I won't change my thought. It's too risky to wander outside. Who are you? You are here to reach me? To... to... to re... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I'm here to get a gym battle because you're the gym leader. Fine. As you see... Alan doesn't want her daughter to travel with her Pokemon. Will you try to persuade him to allow Lily to start her journey? You will? Then everything are depend on you. Are depending on you, is what it should say. What? You want to persuade me? I told you. No! Unless you defeat me. What is this, like Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> it's like Yu-Gi-Oh Forbidden Memories, if you guys have ever played that on the PS1. It's what they always, always like, you can't get past, unless we have a duel. It sounded kind of like Pegasus right there, didn't it? Unless we have a duel, Yugi boy. Okay, yeah, okay. Alright, okay, yeah, this Zangoose is like kind of threatening. This guy is actually, um, you have to go over here to get the, uh, gym the gym leader and uh, he gives you cut so yeah there's that I I, I can't believe it Wh why you but still you won me I won you okay come with me you're mine now I won you <laughs> uh, fine Lily I'll allow you to travel uh, and you child I'll give you this and we get cut yeah wait kid I want to battle you oh, great yeah, um, she actually turns into uh, one of our rivals. Like I said before in the uh, last uh, first part, uh, you have a lot of rivals in this game. So, uh, be ready for that. You gain a lot of rivals. And yeah, this Lapras, not right now because I think it only has Body Slam and Water Gun. But uh, later on, since you are Dragon type, yeah, it learns Ice Beam, and it's bulky as hell, as you guys should know a Lapras is, and it's annoying to deal with later. Uh, perfect, kid. And you are Killer Bunny, right? Fine, I got it. Killer Bunny, right? Yeah, you just said that. Alright. I'll also leave. I should go back to the gym and accept challengers. Challenge. <laughs> um, but at first, I have to go to Amber Yellow Library to do something important. Okay, awesome. So we got a new rival, and we're sending the uh, Miss Silk Gym Leader back to the gym. And that's going to wrap up this episode of my Let's Play uh, Pokemon Victory Fire. Hope you guys did enjoy, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace!